I'd like to go over making threaded uh, fasteners quickly and easily in FreeCAD. You can do this in a matter of seconds and the results look great. Uh, so making screws like this, it almost feels like you're cheating. So maybe in another video we'll manually model this and show a strategy on how to uh, get bolts together as I've been doing that lately. But for now I want to show you the quick, easy, fast, good way to make fasteners. I'm going to restart uh, FreeCAD and show you how. Uh, from here, the first thing you want to do is let's go to Tools, Add-on Manager, and the way to make these is through add-ons. You would go to Fasteners here, and this is a workbench that we're going to install. The other thing to install, and this is completely different, I'm showing two separate methods to make fasteners. I come over here to Macros. Let's scale down to Screwmaker. And we'll install. And now we have to restart FreeCAD to have these show up. So let's restart. Uh, I'm going to go with fasteners first. So you'll see uh, when I start a new document, I have a wide variety of fasteners to choose from. Washers, nuts, bolts, all kinds of things. Uh, and they have certain standards. EN, here's some ISO uh, ones. So I'm going to start Let's go with this one. You simply click on the fastener that you want and it shows right up in graphics display. You may, no you may notice there's no thread. If you are unfamiliar with using fasteners in CAD, uh, most platforms default to no threads because threads can uh, very quickly blow up the graphical performance to uh, make your CAD platform run very slow for something that you usually don't have to look at. So avoid actually doing threads when possible. Uh, it also blows up file sizes. You can uh, have a file size in the megabytes because of threads. And that's why I didn't put threads actually on the cylinder head that I had modeled in another video. So coming back here, let's uh, go to the model um, and highlight this. And when I highlight this in the tree, you get your uh, data tab down here, and you can do a few things to fine tune it. You can change the diameter to a number of presets. Maybe I can make this an M16. You hit the rebuild button for the change to take effect. Uh, then I've got you know, something to change the uh, length width. And if you want to show threads, you simply hit from false to true and rebuild. And again, this, this is going to take some, well, a lot more graphical performance, but um, you can do all that. So that is uh, that workbench. And again, it works for nuts, washers, bolts, anything. Uh, the next thing I'll go through, let's uh, go ahead and delete this. We'll go with, uh, oh, instead of fasteners, let's go with a macro, right? I'll just generically choose part design, choose macro, macros, and uh, we'll go to Screwmaker and execute. And this little menu comes up, so you have a number of screws to choose from. Again, these are all ISO. You have some in the EN down here. Uh, let's go with a slotted countersunk flat head. Uh, I'll give it an arbitrary size. Let's go with M6. And uh, we'll give that a nominal length of 35, right? So that'll be and then user length for screw, 10. And then you can choose simple screw, symbol thread, or real thread. Remember, real threads are not recommended, but I'll do them here because they're because it's pretty to look at at least. And we click on create. And there we go. That's a very nicely made screw. Come over to the model. You will notice once this is made, um, it's not going to be reconfigured. You can change the label, but I don't think that changes the screw at all. Uh, so those are two ways of making screws, and I think it's very helpful and very easy. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.